Coming up, a couple's journey from food stamps to financial prosperity. And how do you pay off nearly $250,000 of debt? Well, Dwight and Ashley share how they became debt-free. Welcome to the 700 Club Canada, and thank you for joining us. Yeah, and Lori, today I'm so excited because we get to kick off a special 700 Club Canada Celebrate Partnership Week. It's going to be great. That's right. <laughs> We're excited. Throughout the shows this week, we'll showcase amazing testimonies, partner ministries, and you are faithful partners of 700 Club Canada. And so we have a vision to do even more and to continue to use this program to impact lives. And honestly... We couldn't do it without your help. That's so true, Bill. We're privileged to have partners throughout all of Canada helping us spread the gospel for more than a decade now. Can you believe that? I know. And so actually today we have a surprise for you. Our guests are here, some of our amazing partners. And so we want to welcome them. And we're so glad to see their smiling faces. And so welcome partners of 700 Club Canada. We're so glad to see you. We've got We've got partners from BC and from Quebec and from Ontario and from even the United States of America. <laughs> That's right. Uh, it's so great. And so thank you so yeah. much for being here today. It's so great to see you all. This makes it just so meaningful for Bill and I too, because you know, we sit in this room, right? Talking yeah. to a box, right? So this is so great to see some of our friends. Yeah, and just so you know that when you become a 700 Club partner, your financial donations help change lives through the ministries like Windsor Life Center. Yeah, it's located uh, in Ontario. This amazing ministry is a place for women to receive treatment and recovery from addiction and trauma. And well, here is Kathy Shearmatero's story, founder of Windsor Life Center. To have the thought and the dream to start something like this was incomprehensible to me at first. And getting to know her and her, her amazing love for broken, hurting women um, changed my life. Pastor Kathy, she always used to say to me um, that she's committed to me. And um, you know, nobody's ever been committed to me my whole life. I I firmly believe with all my heart that I owe my life to her, you know, and her dream and her plan and this place has changed my whole life. A dream, a plan, and a commitment were the only three tools that Pastor Kathy Shimatero and her husband Rick had to work with when building the Windsor Life Center. The only thing in abundance was the need. We had a lot of women coming in that had addictions, drug, alcohol, and other addictions, and I felt a little bit helpless that we just didn't have the tools or the means to, to accommodate what they needed. Many of them were prostitutes or strippers, or they were living with drug dealers or different things, and they, they, they knew they had to get out, but they didn't know how, and they didn't know where to go, and they didn't have means of support. We just had a, a vision. God was orchestrating it, he really was, because he always seemed to put the right people across our path that did know things or know how to do things, and we were able to open our doors three years ago. The Windsor Life Center is a recovery center for women who are lost, broken, addicted, and desperate for help. In the three plus years it's been open, more than 40 women have found hope, found love, and found new life in Jesus Christ. For Pastor Kathy, the journey to this point began at an early age, where, as a child, she saw the catastrophic effects of addiction in her own home. One of the things that really means a lot to me uh, regarding this project is I've had family members. My father was an alcoholic, and I, I saw how that, you know, destroyed our family. My mother and him, you know, were divorced when I was five, and there was just a lot of issues I grew up with because of, of that addiction he had. and. Um, I saw a lot of my friends in my teenage years, a number of them die of overdoses. I, ex I actually witnessed one. Over the years, I've just seen so many people's lives destroyed because of addiction. Our tagline is breaking addictions for generations to come because all of these women, they have parents that are a desperation for somebody to help them. Um, or they have children that are desperate for their mom to come home. And you can either sit back and do nothing, or you can do something, you know, and whatever part you can do is so important. 
Most of these women didn't choose their pasts, many experiencing pain and hurt in their own homes, which conditioned them to believe that there was no other way. What Pastor Kathy has shown them is that with God, there is always a way. I remember um, a lot of hugs and a lot of I love yous. And for about six months after I got here, a lot of we prayed for you. And um, I just remember love. All the staff, like, they loved me when I felt unlovable, when I felt unworthy. I'm very thankful, you know, that, that she has believed in me and that she truly has been committed. It doesn't matter how or why, um, everybody deserves a chance. And the Word of God tells us, you know, do unto others as we would have done unto us. So if I'm stuck and I don't know how to get out, to have people come along and give me hope is, is what I would want. Pastor Kathy and her staff have seen a revolving door of women graduating and leaving, only to be replaced by new faces and new stories of broken and shattered lives. Although the need continues to grow, the staff at the Windsor Life Center has been able to focus their attention on ministering to these women and not on the crumbling weight of daily costs and debt. This is thanks in part to the generosity of the 700 Club Canada partners. 700 Club has been awesome and, and we are really blessed that we can be partners with them and that they believe in what we're doing and they've supported us financially uh, since they've learned about us and, and we really, really appreciate that. 700 Club giving us the opportunity to get that word out and hopefully other people will get behind the project as well and make it easier on us, but uh, we're excited and uh, we want to grow. We want to do more. We eventually would love to open up a men's centre and uh, do the same thing for men that we're doing for the women. Thank you, 700 Club Canada Partners. Because of your commitment, the Windsor Life Centre has given hope to many women who, for the first time in their own lives, have dreams and plans of their own. Well, I just love Kathy's heart and their ministry. And many of you who have been watching this show have seen the ministry of uh, the Shira Materos and Windsor Life Center. And partnering with 700 Club Canada and ministries like Windsor Life Center, you we get to see transformation that Jesus brings in the lives of women. It's so great to be a part of that. And here's something that I've really experienced in my own life. When you change a woman's life, you then change a family often which changes a generation. And I know that uh, actually one of our friends watching, Leanne, she won't mind me saying this, that she was the woman in her family that came to Jesus. And through her transformation in her life, she has impacted now her own family and generations to come. And the impact of her testimony on her family as well. Like it spreads throughout the generations we follow Jesus. And I'm just reminded of this truth when I see ministries like Windsor Life uh, Center, how they transform one life that multiplies its effects through generations. You know, when you join today as a 700 Club Canada partner for just $20 a month or your best gift each month, give us a call at 1-855-759-0700 to do that. It's so easy to help spread the gospel to even more areas of Canada this year and we can't do this without you literally so when you join you're going to receive I have walked with the living God by Pat Robertson and as a bonus this week Jesus of Nazareth the first in the series of written in stone both of these resources will truly build your faith and equip you to walk more wholeheartedly with God well up next Belinda was a single mother living on food stamps when she started tithing find out how that principle of giving resulted in business success Reaching Canada with the message of God's power and love. Proclaiming truth. I love to watch 700 Club Canada. It proclaims God's truth. Giving hope. Thank you for giving me hope every morning as I begin my day. Providing hope and encouragement. Teaching segments, ministry and prayer. Celebrating redemption. Through your TV show, I was brought back to Jesus. Thank you. Life-changing testimonies. The testimonies you present are powerful. Touching the lives. May your ministry be blessed as you reach Canada for Jesus. It's the first time anyone from a TV ministry called to ask if I wanted prayer. 
praying for viewers. Thank you for your prayer support. I really enjoy watching your program. Supporting the vision. A blessing to me and my family. I contribute to 700 Club Canada. Thank you for your faithfulness. Because of you, Canada is being reached with the gospel. Obi and Belinda Endu have seven beautiful kids. They also run five thriving businesses that brought in over $2 million last year. It's a welcome change from years ago when Belinda was a single mother, barely making ends meet. All I really saw was poverty. All I saw was the struggle. I didn't want that for myself and I didn't want that for my future. I wanted a different life. She began reading the Bible for answers. And I realized that the Lord said, if you will, then I will. So if I'm faithful with 10% of whatever you give me, then you will in turn bless me abundantly. Even though she was struggling at the time, Belinda started tithing faithfully every month. And I was so excited to show God that I am going to be faithful. Within a few weeks, Belinda got a job selling legal services. She kept tithing and helping others. I would pay my 10% to God and the Lord would then, you know, always send someone to me that needed help. And I was very faithful with that. And I even began to help ministries and the Lord just continued to increase me. And then I went from getting $1,000 a month to now I'm getting $5,000 a month. Then in 2009, Belinda got the opportunity to start a tax business and things took off from there. And as a result of my faithfulness, the Lord that year blessed me with over six figures. In May of 2012, Belinda married Obi, but he wasn't convinced tithing was a good idea. When tithing situations would come up, there would be this thing inside me like, why do we have to give this money out? Like, we need it. Can we make sure we're okay first? Rather than fight with him, Belinda decided to be patient and pray. The enemy uses force, and God gives us the ability to choose. So I wanted my husband to choose it because he saw it and he was convicted, and I knew that God could do that in his time and not mine. And I knew that as a wife and as a woman of God, I could not interfere with that process. Soon, Obi was on board too. What started to happen for me was, I wanted inclusion in it. I wanted a part of it. She had this calm, she had this presence, she had this power that I knew that I wanted. He actually got to the point to where he's now coming to me. He's like, okay, babe, you know, we gotta, we gotta return our tithe. It's a financial principle. So once he saw that, he began to really respect it. The Indus expanded their tax business and invested in new ones. As their income steadily increased, so did their giving. He says, I wish above all that you would prosper and be in health. So not just financially is his promise to bless us, but also in our whole being. I see that the Lord has definitely done that with us. Obi and Belinda both say their obedience to faithfully tithe is the reason for their financial stability and wealth today. If you think about it, tithing is the only area that the Lord says, test me. We've made several million dollars. It's been truly a blessing. I, and I know that it's the hands of the Lord. And I know it's because I tested him. I love how in that story, Belinda said she was excited. Yes, she used the word excited to show God she was going to be faithful to give him and then financially help others as well. And, and she did and God continued to bless her. You know, we call this the law of reciprocity, this idea that you give and you get back. Uh, maybe not in the same way that you gave, but look what we read in Luke chapter 6, verse 38, where it says, give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap. There'll be an abundance, for with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. You know, I guess the question is, do you really believe that we serve a generous God? That is at the foundation, the core of our belief, a God who loves us and wants to bless us. And actually, he says, test me and see. So maybe today, you need to take a step of faith by becoming a 700 Club Canada partner. Or if you're already a partner, maybe it's in increasing your level of giving. You know, we hear testimonies all the time of how God provides and even surprises us with his generosity. So today, maybe think about being like Belinda, who said she was excited to show God 
her faithfulness. And so maybe today you're our partner, but say, you know, I want to go to the next level. I want to actually test God even in a greater way. And so with your help, here's what happens. Increase, we can do even more. And so maybe your faith challenge uh, will go up to the $40 level. If so today, why not call us at 1-855-759-0700 and we'd love to connect with you today. Now up next, despite nearly $250,000 of debt, Dwight and Ashley began tithing and giving generously and today they are debt free. From Marine Lieutenant in the Korean War to building a global ministry, Pat Robertson reveals how God has directed him every step of the way. In his latest book, I Have Walked with the Living God, Pat Robertson shares his personal journey of faith and how an ordinary life can become extraordinary when surrendered to God. In this highly acclaimed book, you'll learn the keys to receiving daily favor, wisdom, and blessing, how to overcome setbacks and lean on God, how you can hear from God in your own life, Discover how life with God can be exhilarating and full of promise. When you become a 700 Club Canada partner, we'll send you your copy of I Have Walked with the Living God. As a special bonus, if you join during our Celebrate Partnership Week or increase your monthly gift, you will also receive Written in Stone, Jesus of Nazareth. Call now. As a young married couple, Dwight and Ashley Sanders carried student loan and credit card debt of nearly $250,000. Dwight works as an engineer and Ashley is a nurse. Despite their debt, they committed to tithing and giving generously. At the time I was thinking, what would it look like to have that trust relationship with God where you could do that and know that he's got you? Three years later, Ashley was expecting twins. Unfortunately, one child died in utero. She delivered their surviving son, Levi, who was born with low blood platelets, requiring multiple bone marrow transplants. To make matters worse, Dwight's entire department was downsized. I lost my job, which included insurance. I'm like, what more could possibly happen? So I was at an extreme low. For Ashley, the burden of a sick child and questions of how they would pay their bills brought continual stress. It consumes your whole mind and I just remember at that season there was constant calling I mean you're constantly calling insurance companies hospitals clinics fighting and I was just tired that's when the couple asked God for help we cried together and then we both said God has us he's our provider not anyone else Levi's bone marrow transplants were costly and the Sanders had no way to pay Still, they continue to tithe from Dwight's severance pay. Money in God's kingdom is the opposite of what we think it should be. So you tithe first, even though it doesn't make sense, even though you can't make ends meet, and God will let you make your ends meet. God says, test me in this. Do it, try it, and see what happens. I turned around and looked at Dwight. I said, Dwight, I have no idea how we are going to pay this off. And I just laid my hand on the stack and I said, God, I don't know how it's gonna happen, but you do, you are a provider and we trust in you. Even through that season of hardship, we were still just used to that generosity. And maybe at that point, I just had built up a trust level that I kind of knew God would provide. I mean, we wondered how are we gonna pay these bills, but every single time we would get a bill and someone would send a check, you know, or something would happen and we were just were always able to pay the bills. So it was just an incredible blessing. And the blessings continued to flow. In 2018, family, friends, and even strangers raised enough to nearly cover all of Levi's hospital bills. We walked in our church, somebody would hand us cash, someone would hand us a check, someone would hand us a bag of coins and dollars that they'd connect, collected for our family. I would literally bawl, like I'd bawl just, and I'm like, God, how can you, how could you prompt so many people to provide our every need. Just a few months after losing his job, Dwight received good news. Dwight got a call that never happens. Like you look for jobs usually, but this job sought Dwight. Same job, working from home, getting paid more. Dwight's new engineering job nearly doubled the salary of his previous employer. And in 2020, he received another 12% increase. Other than their mortgage, the Sanders were now able to pay off their entire debt. 
you might wonder, is this coincidence? But over time, when you just see instance after instance after instance, you know that it has to be God. There's no, there's no room for doubt in my mind that not only God exists, that that is God's hand actively and directly. Today, the Sanders are still praying for Levi's complete health, and the family added Dobby in 2020. Dwight and Ashley are thankful to God for meeting their financial needs. You know, Scripture says that where our treasure is, there our heart will be. Just having the freedom to not worry about that, just knowing that he's got it, is just an incredible blessing that money could not buy. Well, are you like Dwight and Ashley today? Do you have a financial situation that maybe seems impossible? Are you ready to say, I trust God even with my finances? That's a big question. It really is. And I like what Dwight said. He said, even though it doesn't make sense, and sometimes it really doesn't, even though we can't make ends meet, God will let you make your ends meet. Test God and see what happens. And you know, I have proven that in my own life so many times, Lori. It's yeah, well, true. Me too, Bill. In fact, just recently we were challenged, uh, you know, as a family to consider helping in a, a way that would overextend us. Right. And really we felt like, are we going to trust God with this? And, that's, and I can tell you it's worth it. Well, you know, uh, what I've experienced in my life, it's often when I am pushed or stretched, push, yeah. stretch is the right word, yeah. where God actually increases me. Mm -hmm. um, and it increases my capacity, and I've yeah. never been in want or lack when I've trusted him. Never, yeah. Me never, neither. never, never. Me neither. That is so true. You know, we hear from viewers all the time in need of an answer to a financial struggle, and we stand in prayer with you that God is your provider. Absolutely. And, and so we want to involve you and, and allow you the opportunity to be a partner with us in this. And yeah. so one of the ways that we're doing that is something called Pledge Express. So we want to encourage you to prayerfully consider becoming a 700 Club Canada partner. And you can do that by joining Pledge Express. It's an easy automatic monthly payment option that alleviates the hassle of mail. And it also helps us save resources so we can do more and be even more effective. And so thank you for considering that. And if you'd like to be a part of that, why not call today at 1-855-759-0700. And when you join, you'll receive two special gifts, Pat Robertson's book and his uh, week only it comes with the DVD, Jesus of Nazareth, which is a great DVD, by the way, from the Written in Stone series. Yeah, it's really, really powerful. It I is. just actually, all of CBN's production, their movies, especially so this new series, it is so well done. Very well you done. You were saying the other day, Christian movies have come a long way, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's true. They're, yes. they're really excellent. Yeah. And they're a great resource even for friends who maybe aren't familiar with the Bible stories. It's a great resource. That's to put right. In so you could receive that and give it away to someone else. Would be perfect. Well, up next, your generosity blessed many people at our ministry part as our ministry partner, Union Gospel Mission in Vancouver, BC at Christmas. Watch this. Hey there, I'm Graham and I'm part of the team here at Union Gospel Mission. Because of your awesome donations this year, tons of women and families are gonna have a special Christmas. Today, I'd like to give you a sneak peek at how things are gonna look this year and show you how your gifts are transforming lives at UGM this Christmas. As you can see behind me, the shelves are stocked full of items that parents get to choose for their families. Each family receives the perfect gifts for each member of their household, winter clothing for everyone, a package of hygiene items, some household necessities, and a grocery gift card. And thanks to you, single and senior women are not forgotten this year. We'll be giving out 200 fantastic rolling carts full of treats, winter gear, and gift cards to single and senior women on the downtown east side. Thank you for reminding families that this difficult season is still filled with joy and celebration. Special thanks to our partners at 700 Club Canada who've sponsored the cost of the program for many years. And a sincere thank you to each and every one of you who ensured that we could help another 100 families this Christmas for a total of 335 families and an extra 50 women during this pandemic. We'll send another video in a few weeks letting you know how everything goes. See you later. Someone should download the CBN Family app to get an easy view at all of CBN's media. Having access easily to that faith-based content is 
which is so invaluable. This is a great way I could take that with me on the go, you know? This app is really easy to use. My favorite feature is the fact that you can look at like the different like feeds, like the news, animations. This app has exactly what you're looking for as far as Christian values go. Dear 700 Club Canada partner, wow, I am blown away by your generosity. Thank you so, so much. This has been tough being away from family and friends this Christmas, but your beautiful gift really made this Christmas special. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your kindness has been a huge blessing to me. I wish I could meet you and thank you in person. I hope you've had a blessed Christmas this year and have a lovely new year. Thank you for helping me stay here this season. God bless, love, Claire. Well, I just want to pause for a moment here, Bill. This is the first for us, and we have welcomed our friends online, and I want to say a huge thank you for being here with us. Thank you so much. You know, many, we were chatting off, uh, you know, off camera, and I was just saying, how many of you have experienced God providing in your life when you thought maybe that it was impossible? How many would say yes to that? Yeah, just wave at us Hands if that's up. true. Yeah. yeah. And I hope that encourages you watching at home that God does provide in supernatural, miraculous ways that you can trust him. And so we want to thank you for joining us. Thank you for being partners with us. Thank you for helping us share this amazing message of hope all across yeah. the nation of Canada and really literally around the world. And yes. so we just love, love to pray with you and bless you today. Would that be okay? Can we do that? Oh, let's do that. So Father, thank you so much. Uh, for our partners who joined us today via Zoom, and for our partners who are watching all across Canada and around the world, I pray today that you'd bless them. And all of us have experienced this. We know the power of reciprocity, that we reap what we sow. And when we sow into the kingdom of God, we know the harvest is eternal. Mm -hmm. So thank you for the privilege and the joy of serving you and serving with one another. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. So good, we've got a praise report. So Rita sent in, said I had posted a few weeks back that I need prayer for a job interview. I got the job. That's Woo! awesome. That Let's awesome. cheer for Rita, isn't yeah. that fantastic? That Yay, is God. Great. Thank you, God, thank you for praying for me. So that's a wonderful prayer, answer, answer to prayer. Yeah, and Sharon asked that, we, uh, uh, that she wanted to praise God that her wisdom tooth is no longer in pain. And you know, it's interesting because if you've ever had tooth pain, right? it's the worst kind of pain ever. And so we're really excited with you, Sharon. And yeah. So yeah, we're glad that we got to pray with you and for you. Yeah, it's so good. Well, you know, we have so many wonderful partnerships on this right across Canada, Bill. And, you know, through the CBN app on your phone, so our friends watching online, if you haven't downloaded the CBN app, download it. Our friends watching, download the app because you'll see our show and all the resources of CBN right at your fingertips. Yes, yeah. and just remember, this is absolutely true. It really is more blessed to give than it is to receive. I've seen that in my life, and I know if you experience that, you will experience the power and blessing of God in your life. That is so true, Bill. Thank you for watching. Thank you, friends, for being with us. To contact us, visit 700club.ca.